trainer. Oh. I knew it was this one. Just waiting for them to catch my attention. No, evolving is not enough. EV training is important. Uh, knowing type advantages and disadvantages is important. And knowing ways around them is more important than levels, experience, and knowing type advantages. All of those things are less important than knowing how to get around type advantages. That's just the way it works. Can't believe we're almost a golden rod. Of course, we have some trials between here and there. I don't want to go back in here yet, but I'm going. That should have been everybody. No, one trainer left. Grown-up Pokemon means you evolved them early. This will be our advantage against you. you off the chair. That's it. You earned it, cat. Goodbye. I'm trying to do stuff. Oh, oh, now you're clinging on for dear life by your front paws. <laughs> oh. Pet ownership, it's, it's interesting. Especially when you own a cat versus a dog, because a dog will be quiet and not bother you while you're doing stuff, but a cat, no. If you're occupying the same space, chances are they're going to interrupt what you're doing. Away with you, Mad Cat. Oh, reference to Mad Cat's controllers. Wow. I said this was going to be the LP of references, but I didn't actually believe myself. That one wasn't even intentional. Happen. So, Bugsy, I hear that you're the leader of this joint, yo. You call this a gym? You call this a gym? There are four trainers aside from you. This ain't no gym. This ain't no gym. He wants to become a Pokemon professor of Bugs. That's what Bugsy wants to do. You never hear about him later on, so he must be a failed student of bugs. Now I'm thinking here, um, Bugsy was probably smart enough not to evolve this Metapod until it learned Tackle uh, as a Caterpie. Yep, and there it is. No big deal though. Flinch! Flinch! No, you can harden, that's fine too. Now here, I don't know if this is going to work, but this will be efficient in our PP, so we're going to try this. And he only had one HP left, so, or two, because it only gives you half of what you drain. I'll have to go look at that in a second here. No, I will not change Pokemon. Uh, he's going to have done the same thing with this Kakuna. It's going to know. Surprise, surprise, Poison Sting. I predicted your first move. Ooh. This is really an ineffective thing to do because Poison types don't get poisoned and they really dramatically cut poison damage. Uh, I think it's more than others. Other stat modifications, or uh, damage modifications, rather. But I don't know that for sure. 27 and 27, this is this is the Zubat of all Zubats. Scythe. Yeah, okay. This is gonna be tough. Of course then it he proves me wrong by using the weakest bug move ever. Using Fairy Cutter, I'm gonna confuse you for my own cruel advantages. There we go. We finally got a Supersonic to go for us again. It's been a while. Let's see how much damage it does to itself. Decent amount. More than we're doing. Just saying something. Oh, 
Well, I think this gym leader is going to be easier than we planned. And it's just going to be Zubat, which is what we had planned earlier on, but I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to accomplish. Oh, please, please, it's too late. I'm going to do this Leech Life, and it's over. Oh, no. I'm going to have to do it one more time. If Zubat survives. No, he does. Good job, Zubat. There we go. Oh, not quite a level. Jack. Jacked, I say. I'm not an expert on Pokemon, but I'm somebody. <laughs> Hi, Badge. We're gonna go to the HiveMC.eu. Oh, more Minecraft references. We're gonna play some Block Party? No, we're not playing Block Party. That, that'd be terrible. Although it'd be funny if I cut in <laughs> a bit of Block Party here, which I may do. Yeah, if you don't miss, it gets stronger every turn. Beery Cutter, it's not bad, but it's it's not great either. Uh, it depends on your playstyle. If you're a patient player, which I am not, I gotta force my way through with the high attack or special attack stat. Um, that move just doesn't really work for me. Now, someone could use it against me in a player versus player battle, and I look like shit, but that's its own thing. Against non player characters is completely different. Okay, I stopped here for a second because I want to save. Well, not really because I want to save, but because. Remember how I was talking about Arc Pokemon a bit ago? Well, he's kind of gonna show up. Yes, Team Rockets returned, I beat them. I wouldn't lie to you. I dealt with liars. <sighs> See, I'm trying to be bro fool, but he doesn't want to bro. Uh, ghastly, this is perfect. I actually didn't plan this, but Zubat, do your thing. Don't get paralyzed. Didn't flinch though. Which gives him another chance to paralyze us with that lick. Oh, phew. Now, seeing I just had a flashback there, I'm not sure if Ghastly has a horn, or if that's just a dot on its, on its forehead. You don't want to do this, bro. I, I'm warning you. I don't want to do this. I'm not going to play around with supersonics. <sighs> and we already know that Zubat has a problem with this. But we're going to try and see if he can handle this. No. Can't do it. So that quickly he's turned the battle around. Just between the Zubats here. Alright. Four decisions there. I should have switched out sooner. It's not going to do as much damage as you want it to. That's right, it doesn't affect. I don't know why I tried to do that. It gave him an opportunity to supersonic, which is going to make the whole battle much more difficult. But Torture loves me. He's a good Pokemon, so... He freaked out in critical hit. He's like, no! Croconaw. Um, we're gonna do this. <sighs> I know this is bad. I know that this is wrong. But we're gonna start off with a smoke screen. Didn't do as much damage as I thought it would, but let's lower his accuracy, accuracy some more. This is not about how much damage we're doing here. This is literally about trying to kill his accuracy. Uh, 
I'm gonna lose because of how I handled his Zubat. Wow, could you be any more accurate, bro? God. Oh, Torture has his first KO. Do I have any potions? Of course, I have a super potion, and I could have done this right. But no. Could you be any more accurate? This is one weak reason why I, I like Krokna, and it's shame. It's very accurate. Even when I've tried to alter its accuracy, it doesn't matter. <sighs> Let's hope this supersonic helps us. If it doesn't, we're screwed. Accurate and unconfusable. Now it's time for some leech life. I don't think this is gonna do much. Yeah. 2 HP. Oh, that's what we were looking for. Now flinch. Or hurt yourself again, please. It missed! Yes! Oh, uh, we had to pull out all the tricks just to get to here. Oh, and it flinched! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! One more turn. That's all I need of you, Zubat. Flinch, please. Or that! Oh! <laughs> oh! Anytime you beat Arc Pokemon, or your rival here, rather, um, on your first try, it's good day. Uh, I hate weakling, weak people, destroy them all. Uh, he's kind of crazy. Kind of. And yes, sometimes I look in directions to be emotive. Um, I find that being emotive in games helps define a player from other players, especially in LPs. Like, how many LPs of Pokemon Gold are there in the world? Too many. So, me just looking to the right here, and then looking to the left, like, I like this Pokemon Center. And then leaving. Just, it adds something different. It's fun. It's beyond kin. Ah, uh, saying things wrong on purpose. Not right now, though. That battle wasn't important. I was tempted to catch that, but I didn't really want to. Um, you know, we haven't checked on this egg in a while. It's going to hatch soon! Oh, it's all excited! Now this guy's gonna want our help. dark and scary for me, <laughs> says this guy. Uh-huh. We're gonna go around this way, pick up this item, and then I think we'll catch it. Ooh, a revive. I think we'll do this right if we go up around here. Unfought wild metapod. I don't need to fight metapods anymore. Now, I'll do this wrong, I guarantee you. Yep. I knew it. Ah, I think I gotta talk to him from above. I was worried though that that would trick him into going in the direction I was coming from, so... There's that. 
There we go. So I'm not done. <laughs> In the remake, this is much harder. You actually have to catch two far fetched. Now, as I was saying, in the remake, you actually have to catch two far-fetched, and it's actually harder by a lot. Damn it. Badge, son. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to his house and we're gonna get a charcoal uh, just because we need it. Crap. I think it's time we start carrying repels, so I'm gonna make a stop by the shop. Huh, <laughs> stop by the shop. Oh yeah. Before we do that though, let's go get our charcoal. No? Is it you? Wow, he made a charcoal and he gave it to us. That's awesome. You are a bad Pokemon. You should never run away from the people who are handling you. What happens if you get into a fight with a wild Pokemon and you get KO'd and they can't find you? You're gonna die. You're gonna die! Whoa, that's expensive. I'm gonna start carrying 10 or so potions. Two escape ropes, just in case of emergency. And no, I don't want 99. <laughs> That's way too many. Uh, 10? Yeah, it's gonna have to be 11. That's fine. Alright. Things are looking up right now. Love that music. Not much is going on, but it's enough. I'm actually kind of hoping that while we walk uh, back this way, this egg is gonna hatch. Because we need the Pokemon who can cut. Um, while we're at it, why don't we take a look in the grass here? That's not the Pokemon. So we caught this Speedro here. Uh, this is the second battle that I got into in the grass here. I think it can learn cut. We're gonna find out here. Uh, and the reason I didn't show the battle is this is an HM slave. It's really not important, uh, and it can anyway. So Pokemon Pokedex data that we didn't really need. Well, I'm gonna go put this guy in storage. Sucks. At least it only took one Pokeball. It's like, yes, capture me. I want to be trained. And I'm like, no, you're not going to get trained. You're going to get PC'd. But 
yeah, the reason I was hoping the egg would hatch is...